Yo, 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 what's up? It's Day Day here with another gameplay. And in this video, we're going to be breaking down one of my favorite clips. I'm going to be teaching you what I was thinking when I was too busy getting a three piece. I mean, look at it. Yeah. So don't forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button as well. Let's get on with the video. In this video, I do happen to get a three-piece. So running into it, I had a UAV expire right before the capture happens. So I do know that there's at least three people in here because I'm playing quads and they're showing up on the mini-map. So there could be a fourth. So I proceed with caution. I see the arrow above their, their indicator letting me know that they're in an elevation above me. So moving forward, I believe that they're in the stairwell going up to the roof because why would anybody be standing in the stairwell so that's my thought process going forward immediately coming up I start looking behind me because I've already looked up and saw there's no one in front of me as I'm going up the stairwell so I start turning to, to cheat the angle itself and immediately I see a guy running so I'm thinking either he knows I'm here because he's sound whoring but what I later find out is they're already in engagement and they're too darn distracted. So if you notice where my crosshair is, I'm already centering, ready for when I come up, I'm right there at him. I'm not looking at the ground, I'm not looking anywhere else. My centering is where his chest is, or his upper part of the body. So I'm easily able to snap onto the target and hip fire to get some hit markers while I aim down sights. He immediately jumps into the door to the left to avoid being shot anymore. His armor's broke, so now I have one or two options. I can push in there, or I can not. Let's see what I do. So I come up, and as I was going to push in there, I check to make sure that there's no one else. Because we want to make sure that we have 360 awareness. Like I said, we're taught that in the military, actually, so I utilize it in the game itself. What do I see? I see someone else who is engaging another team. Two things that are wrong with this picture on their part. First thing is, this guy's completely tunnel vision to the guy that he's fighting, who's not an immediate threat. As soon as his buddy was cracked, there should have been comms going off, there's guys in the building, guys in the ladder well, something to let the team know that the immediate threat that they thought was going on wasn't actually a threat anymore, and it's someone else. He should not have his back to me, which is the second point. He shouldn't have his back to me. <laughs> like, so he should have turned around and been ready to engage, and he doesn't. And as you can predict, he's an easy down. Going back to some uh, other videos, make sure whenever you down someone, you don't immediately try to go for the thirst. Because, yes, you can get the kill. But which is better, getting a kill and getting killed or getting all the kills? Me, for one, I'm greedy. I always pick all the kills so what am i gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and just slide back down or at least halfway while i'm reloading to reevaluate because even if this guy has self-res he ain't getting it off in time for it to make a difference because even if he did get up he's still got a plate he ain't got nowhere to go but to the roof and don't worry we'll track him down if that's the case so sliding back down notice my centering i'm not looking down the ladder well i know the what's down the ladder my team the enemy's not down there, and if they are, they're going to be dealing with my team before they deal with me. I pop the reload, and like as I'm throwing the mag back in, I'm coming right back up. Again, we have a guy that is in the door, or in the, in the room to my right. I'm expecting him to pop out any second, but the thing that I do notice, and the thing I do hear, is a teammate starting a res. That is a big no-no. Now there's two people out of the fight versus just one. If you are in the middle of a gunfight, do not start to res teammate if the area isn't safe. And how do you know if the area is safe if you're this team? Well, you know that the enemy is inside the building, or you should, because I already cracked a guy who ran into the building, I mean, into the room to my right. So they should know that the enemy is in here. But they don't utilize that because they don't have 360 awareness. 
They still think that they're fighting the team that is currently outside the window to my back. So I jump past the doorway and immediately do a 180 facing the opposite direction where they are, and I start shooting at the person doing the res. I don't shoot at the person who is down. Because even if the res gets off, the animation that it takes for him to get back up and get into the fight takes forever in a day times five. All right? So we want to make sure we take out the person who's doing the res. And even if he does stop resing right now, it's still going to take forever in a day times two and a half. So this is going to be an easy down. And you're going to notice this guy had self res right there. He starts to go for the animation to finish up the res. That's another problem. If you already have self-res, why are you getting your team involved to res you when the enemy is right there on your heels? So don't do that. That's another mistake. Finish up the kill. I immediately want to head up the ladder well. I've got 11 rounds in my magazine. Going back, always a full circle, to 360 awareness. Being aware of everything that's going on. Situational awareness, whatever you want to call it. I know I don't have enough ammo. To begin this fight because I don't want to whip out my primary my mp5 cold war is the best that you could possibly use for close quarters during this meta so I want to run upstairs and I want to reload it I want to get you know get much sense uh, give myself time to reload as I'm reloading I'm telling him hey there's one more guy downstairs so I slide down this is where I get lucky but also where the centering comes into play Right now, I'm aimed about at his chest, right? That's where my centering is, because you can see him in the door. What I don't realize is that he has a shotgun. Luckily, he's probably aiming at my toes or into yesterday. Not at me, though. And he doesn't get the kill, and I'm able to hip fire. It looks like he didn't even plate up, because I immediately just down him and kill him. But he's dropping plates or whatever the case may be let's assume he didn't have plates what do you do in this situation well i'm glad you ask there's windows you can jump out them it's better than trying to engage the team that's right there you know there's a full team in there he just saw not only me run past that door but he just saw someone else and he should have had a call out from his team saying hey there's two people up here with us or there's three people or there's one person there should be call outs that's something else you should always do is make sure you're giving the proper callouts to your team. And right there, you have it. A three-piece. <laughs> All right, guys. If you enjoyed the video, do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Also, we are closing in on 1,000 subscribers. So if you're enjoying this video and if you're enjoying my other videos, I ask you please hit the subscribe button. It helps me out tremendously. helps me reach that goal because this community is just growing faster and faster every day. And if you want to see another video without having to go too far, just click the one right above, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and love.